While it can be said that the in-air catch attempt to Super Heavy was the main attraction during the Flight 5 launch, we can't overlook the fiery re-entry of Starship's second stage. With overwhelming changes and thousands of hours of work put in beforehand, the entire SpaceX team finally achieved their big goal. So, how did SpaceX secure a victory with Ship 30? What's Elon revealed about the second stage of Starship in the upcoming Flight 6? Let's get into it and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. And before we get into the main content, we are incredibly moved to announce that our YouTube channel has now hit, get this, 100,000 subscribers. This is a major breakthrough that we could not have achieved without the enthusiastic support from all of you. With that, we want to extend our heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you who's followed, watched, commented on, and shared the channel's content. Your support is a tremendous motivator for us to keep making and delivering more valuable and engaging content. This journey's only yet begun, and we promise to do our best to live up to your expectations. Please continue to join us as we move forward on the exciting road ahead. All right, back into it. So three days after Starship's Flight 5 launch, discussions and analysis about the in-air catch of Super Heavy are still the main topic across the social platforms. But let's not forget that the re-entry of Starship 30 was also a spectacular performance and a big-time victory for SpaceX. Indeed, when watching the re-entry video released by SpaceX, we can witness a more majestic scene than anything we've seen in previous launches, even compared to the fourth Starship launch. Why is that? All right, so unlike the fourth launch, the fifth Starship flight was equipped with several strategically placed cameras that could track nearly the entire spacecraft during its descent. More importantly, the moment the spacecraft was about to hit the ocean, it appeared to be largely intact. Now, if you pay close attention to SpaceX's live broadcast, you can even see Ship 30 being submerged by the ocean. Then, in a cut to a camera positioned near the water where Starship landed, a massive explosion erupted. Now, if you think this is bad news for SpaceX, you'd be wrong. In fact, it was a resounding success, with the entire SpaceX team cheering in celebration. SpaceX proudly announced, Splashdown confirmed, congrats to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting fifth flight test to Starship. Additionally, Elon confirmed, Ship landed precisely on target, second of the two objectives achieved. Not only that, two days after the launch, SpaceX released a series of photos of Starship during Flight 5, showing the progress and a new level of technology for tracking the whole flight in space, something never been done before. Two pictures, one of the Super Heavy booster and the other at the tail end of the Starship upper stage, show the Earth in the background during the flight. The image of the booster shows its landing pin on the bottom right. While this pin appears small, it's responsible for supporting the 23-story rocket's full weight during a catch tower, and it worked successfully on its first attempt during Flight 5 after SpaceX caught the booster with the catch arm. The image of the Starship's second stage shows its aft end fin through a strategically placed camera. SpaceX carefully monitored the ship's flaps during Flight 5 since the forward or top of the flap of the upper stage caught on fire during re-entry on the previous flight. Now, this time around, Flap damage, minimal, but some regions did catch on fire. SpaceX changed its flap design for future tests, so it's more likely than not that the mishaps will be avoided. Starship's upper stage second image shows the ship engulfed in red plasma as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. This is the most stressful period during a rocket's re-entry since it requires the heat shield to withstand thousands of Fahrenheit of heat. The final image is of the Starship Super Heavy booster during stage separation. At the top, the rocket's grid fins are visible, along with the engine plume of the second stage ship as it fires its engines to fly away from the booster and start its portion of the test. Honestly, SpaceX has got every reason to celebrate a major success. For those who may not have fully grasped the details yet, the victories with Starship's second stage are based on numerous changes amounting to thousands of hours of work by hundreds of SpaceX members. First, a key upgrade relates to the heat shield on Ship 30. Starship uses about 18,000 hexagonal heat tiles to cover its belly, many of which are standard hex shapes. Although Starship has hundreds of unique tile shapes and sizes, the ease of installation and maintenance is significantly improved when most of them share a common design. These interlocking tiles are a standout feature on any Starship, forming the entire black half of the vehicle. However, during Starship's Flight 4, the re-entry results of Ship 29 
showed that one of the flaps burned up. This indicates that the heat shield tiles in critical areas weren't ensuring the spacecraft's integrity when returning to Earth. This led SpaceX and Elon to make immediate changes to Ship 30. They quickly replaced the old heat shield system with a new one. According to Elon, this new heat shield is twice as strong as the previous one. While the exact material of these new tiles remains unknown, they performed quite well during Flight 5. In addition to unspecified movements in the material and structure of the tiles, ablative-resistant layers were added as a secondary protective measure. This black ablative material likely came from technology used on the Block 2 spacecraft, which could explain why the upgrade was deployed so quickly after Ship 29's flight. This upgrade was designed to enhance reentry performance, and it seems to have worked. However, we are still waiting for official details from SpaceX on how effective the new thermal protection system really is. During reentry, some of Ship 30's heat tiles turned red hot, and as the ship got closer to the nose, the heat became more intense, even creating sparks as if they were burning. This might be the next area SpaceX needs to focus on improving. Did you notice anything unusual? Feel free to comment down there below the video. Along with the expected performance of Ship 30's new heat shield, its engines also did quite well throughout the flight. This consistency builds on the performance seen in previous flights. SpaceX may soon consider testing engine burns in space to verify their effectiveness, which will be crucial for future plans like refueling systems or sending Starship farther into space. Moreover, one thing I absolutely have to shout out to SpaceX for is the improvement they made from the previous flight, which is the adhesive for the heat shield at the nose of the ship. In the previous flight, we still saw pieces of the heat shield flying off Ship 29, but this time, during the re-entry of Ship 30, everything was perfect. However, SpaceX still faces significant challenges ahead. The issues that arose near the end of the mission, possibly the explosion, require thorough analysis. This mission is undoubtedly complex and demands considerable effort. A bright spot for SpaceX is the ability to land precisely at a predetermined point. This can be considered a first step as SpaceX looks to achieve new goals like returning the ship to Starbase and landing successfully using the chopsticks. While landing the Starship this way is much harder than catching the Super Heavy's booster, this is SpaceX. You think they can't do it? In the coming months, SpaceX will certainly upgrade its Starship design, including reinforcing the flaps in the ship itself. The heat shield system will also need to be adjusted if necessary to prevent issues like those encountered during this flight. The pressing question now is whether SpaceX can land the Starship using Mechazilla's arms in the upcoming flight especially considering there are still some minor issues with the Starship. In fact, SpaceX originally planned to execute this two-stage landing during Flight 6. Recently, Elon hinted at the possibility, saying, hopefully early next year, we'll catch the ship too. I'm sure you're all looking forward to this as well. To ensure Starship's safety and reliability, SpaceX may still choose to conduct another flight where the ship lands in the ocean before attempting the full Mechazilla arm catch. A complete landing using the Mechazilla arms that might be safer and more feasible for Flight 7. Some may disagree with my opinion, but don't worry, I don't think this will slow Starship's progress down. Thanks to the success of the Super Heavy Booster and SpaceX's confirmation, along with Elon's assurance about Starship, we can expect upcoming flights to take off soon. The FAA might conduct an investigation, but unless there are concerns about public safety, approval for the next flight could come quickly. Best case scenario, Flight 6 launches by the end of the year, with Flight 7 aiming for the long-awaited milestone of a full landing possibly sometime early next year. In the near future, we might see recovery ships deployed to retrieve parts of Ship 30. SpaceX will analyze these components and the landing data will help them upgrade their systems, laying the groundwork for future success, just as SpaceX made significant improvements with Super Heavy. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for checking us out and hope to see you back here next time. Bye.